ever tried to clean out your inbox and you've wondered, how can I find all these emails from one place and move them or delete them all at once? This is a common question that I get. And so this will be our topic for video three in our clearing your email series. I'll show you how to move or delete multiple emails from the same person or company today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. This is video three in our series of 10 on clearing your email inbox. Today I'll show you how to manually move or delete groups of emails from the same person or company. This is a question I get a lot from my clients and for, from everyone on YouTube. So I think it's a topic that we need to cover. Now in video four, I will be showing you how to automatically have some of this happen through your email program. And that's using something called filters and rules. It's one of my favorite things to teach in email. So there is a more automatic way to have it happen on a regular basis. But if these are companies where you know you're not going to continue getting emails from them, then you might want to do some manual cleanup. And that's important to know how to do. So we'll cover that today. Later in the video series, I will also cover how to safely unsubscribe from emails. I'll briefly show you how to do this manual movement and deletion of emails in several email programs. We'll start with Outlook on your computer. We'll go to Outlook on the web. Then we'll go to Gmail. And lastly, we'll do Yahoo. And so in the description down below, if you want to jump straight to your email program, you can do that. So let's start with Outlook. Here we are in our Outlook inbox. And let's say we want to move or delete a bunch of emails from Microsoft. I can either go here and organize who things are from. So I went to this little guy here in the carrot. You may have columns across the top. And if you click the column, it will organize by who it's from. And so here now you can see it's got all of my Microsoft uh, emails grouped together. If this is a small enough group, you can click the first one, hold down your shift key, and then click the last one. And you can select them all at once and move them into a folder. You can click and drag these into a folder that you've already created. Or if you haven't created the folder yet, you could do a right click and then move. And then we can go to other folder. And the key here is to make sure that you're in the right place. Right now I have tasks selected and that's not correct. So I need to go to my inbox and that's where I want the folder created is under my inbox. So I'm gonna create new and I'm gonna say Microsoft. Once I click on okay, you'll see that appear under here and it's selected, it's in blue. And once we click okay, then all of those emails move immediately in there. Now this is just a one-time thing. We'll talk next week about having an ongoing setup where your system can automatically move some things into the folder. This is just to do it manually. Another way we can do this same type of thing is let's say this time we want to do Slack notifications. I'm going to move my picture down so that you can see right here, we have the email address that these notifications come from. So I can click on this and let's just go ahead and copy it. And I'll have to take out the extra stuff where it says Slack, but I can go up here to my search bar. This is to search my Outlook. I'm going to right click and I'm gonna paste and I can just take this down to the email address. That may be the cleanest way to do it here. Once I hit enter, it's searching and you can see it finds everything that matches that. And this is a great way to drill down to exactly what you're wanting. You can organize it by the from, or you can do it this way. Grab that email address, put it in your search bar, and then you can do the same thing. You can hold down shift and choose them all. If there's only certain ones that let's say you want to delete this time, I can hold down control and I can pick the ones that I want. And what I'm doing is I'm holding down control or command on a Mac and I'm selecting the ones that I want. The shift is for all of them together. 
and there's a whole other video about this that I'll put a link to in the notes below. Once I've selected the ones I want to delete, let's say I want to, let's just choose a few of them. Then I can do my typical, I go back to home. You can see here when you go to search, it brings you to the search bar. You can always go back to home to get your delete, or you can do your right click and delete here. Now we'll look at Outlook on the web. These steps are gonna be very similar here. This one has something a little different. It says filter. And the first things are the things that you can actually filter down to your unread messages. We're actually wanting the sort. So we're gonna go down here to sort and sort by from. And it's the exact same situation where I can click on the first one, hold down shift and click on the last one if I want to, um, and then delete or move them into a folder. Exact same idea. Let's say I just wanted to do these few. Here you can see a move to, just like when we were right clicking in Outlook on the computer. And it's the same idea. You can move it to a folder. You can create a new folder here. It's a little bit quicker. They do also have a sweet feature. I'll put a link to that down in the notes below for the instructions on how to use that. So in the same way as before, we can move it to deleted items. You can do a right click on it and delete. There's all different options. So we're just gonna delete these and that's how we take a group of them at a time. In the same way we talked about before, if you would rather not use the sorting feature, we'll go turn that back to date, which is what we're used to, and be sure to change that back after you're done with this process, so otherwise you'll get confused. If you wanna do it by the search, we can do it that way in here as well. So let's choose, let's say one from this here, these newsletters from Acuity. And what I'm gonna do, I'll move my picture so you can see it. Same thing that we did on Outlook on the computer. We're going to take this email address here and it might be easier. You can see it just pops up. It has all kinds of features that are different from on the computer. Once we hover over, I'm just hovering and staying there. It'll bring up this information and then I can go and copy this email address right here. I've copied it. Now I'm going to go up here to the search bar and paste it. And then if I hit enter, it will search just for the emails from that email address. So that way, if you're getting emails, let's say you get emails from someone, you get regular emails from them and you receive newsletters, this will let you just choose the ones that are the newsletters. Now, if they both come from the same email address, you may want to use something that I'll teach you in the next video. Once we have the emails that we want to either delete or move, we can do that same thing that we've been talking about. Click on the first one, hold down shift and click on the last one. And then again, I can choose to move it to a folder or I can delete them. Now we'll look at doing the same type of thing in Gmail. In Gmail, it's a little different. They don't have any kind of column to click on to, to organize by from or anything like that. So the best way to do it here is what we've been doing previously with the Outlook options, which is to go and copy the email address. I find that to be the easiest. So I'm going to grab this email right here. I'm just going to click and drag over it and just the email. You don't need the name and I'm going to copy that and then I will put it up in my search box. And a lot of people get confused. This is not a Google search box. This is just to search your email. We will paste that email address and I'll hit enter. And now it's pulled up everything that's from that email address. You can see they show as coming from different people, but they're actually from that same email address. And that's something that the company is able to do. So at this point, I can select all of them by clicking this little box here, and then I can choose to delete right here, or I can move them. <clears throat> now I can choose to delete by using this here, or I can click and drag them to my folder, which I have a folder right here for Asana. So I'm going to move those. 
And what happens is they stay on the screen. Don't let that confuse you. That is because we have searched for this email address. So no matter where those emails are in Gmail, they're going to show up here. And so you can see what changed is it added those labels of inbox Asana. And so then when I go back to my inbox, they're no longer here, but I can go here and I can find them in amongst the rest. So we had this one here and then the one for Mickey. Now let me show you an example if you have pages and pages of emails from a certain company. I've done a search here. You can see the email address that I searched. And I have up here, you can see one, of 50, one through 50 of many. So that means there's more than one page worth of results. So what you do in this instance is once you check this box to select all of them, you will see, you wanna pay attention right here to what pops up. So the 50 on this page were selected. If you want to select all conversations that match this search, you can choose that there. And you can see that goes away and now it says you can clear the selection if you didn't mean to do that. And we can clear the selection and then it clears them all. So again, you can check this box you can either just do the 50 that are on this page, or you can select all conversations that match. And at this point, you can do the same thing. You can delete them, or you can move them into a label folder here on the left. Lastly, we'll look at moving or deleting groups of emails in Yahoo. And this will work very similar to the rest of them that we've looked at. So let's say I want to take all these ones from Yahoo and either delete or move them. I can do the same thing I've done before, which is click, oh, click and drag over the email address and then copy it. I get the whole thing. Okay, we'll copy that. We'll paste it in here and then we'll hit enter. And here it brings up just those emails. So then I can choose this box here and you can see I can choose to delete or I can choose to move to a folder and I can create a new folder if I need to at this time. You can choose to just put the name of the company up here in the search bar to find what you need, but you can see you get multiple different kinds. So you might get some here and then there's an Asana research and there might be a third different kind. I um, mean, see there's one down at the bottom that says Jennifer via Asana. So with searching a company name, you may get multiple different things. And especially this will not work for you if you choose to do something like Facebook, because a lot of people have the word Facebook in their signature because they have a link to their Facebook account in their signature for their email. Um, so that's why searching Facebook is not going to bring you the same results as choosing the email address from the specific type of email that you're trying to get rid of and plugging that in there. That will always be the cleanest way to pull up the emails that you want to delete or move. A great feature in Yahoo is that you can select or cherry pick a few of these and not all of them if you'd like to delete a few at once. So you select one, select one down here, down here, and it's great, it'll let you do that and then you can delete or move just those few. If you do want to do all, an entire group, you can click on the first one and then hold down the shift key, click on the last one and everything adjacent will select. This is a great tool that is very useful when you're selecting multiple emails. And you can do this with your computer files as well. And if you made an error and you just wanna start over again, you can click this checkbox and it'll clear every selection that you made. Hopefully these tips will help you clean up your inbox a little bit the manual process is wonderful and can be really helpful as you're going through and especially things that you know that you're not going to keep on a regular basis. For items where you know you're going to keep yourself on a newsletter, but you want the emails to automatically go to folders, that is something that we can do with filters and rules, which is what we'll talk about in next week's video. Have you had a light bulb moment from today's training? If so, please let me know in the comments below. You can also put questions in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You can also leave the video a thumbs up 
or you can share it with someone you think could benefit from the information. And be sure to subscribe by clicking the red button below. When you do that, you'll see a bell icon. If you choose the bell icon, that will give you notifications each time a new video is posted. And this is especially important if you're following along with this video series. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.